Impulses and corrections relate to one another with the Fibonacci sequence and the fractal pattern. The golden ratio is often used by traders along with specific charting tools such as Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extensions in order to measure an impulse with its correction, this way projecting possible upcoming swings. This method often puts wave traders in the ahead of the crowd position. The picture below illustrates types of extensions and Fibonacci projections in different stages of impulses. Elliot pointed out that alternation is practically a law of the markets. Alternation gives a valuable notice of what to expect or what not to expect when analyzing wave formations. A difference in corrective structures occurs in order for a certain balance to be kept. For example, if wave 2 of an impulse presents a sharp correction such as a zigzag, then the analyst would expect wave 4 to present a sideways correction and vice versa. Most wave traders use alternation not as a prediction tool, but mostly as an elimination tool. The Elliott Wave principle offers exceptional value and it is indeed an exercise in probability. Wave traders are often one step ahead of the crowd because when the market would change the direction, then they caught the turn. If the market would move beyond the acceptable points and cause an invalidation of the wave count, then this would mean that some of the rules were broken, which in turn would lead the wave trader to re-examine the structures and determine the next best interpretation, thus preparing themselves psychologically. Elioticians often use what is called an alternate count besides their main count so that they will be prepared for other scenarios and also be aware when a change occurs. Structures can develop in multiple ways as explained in this course, therefore an agile mind is recommended when counting waves. Structures also reveal themselves. so. When the wave trader finds him herself in a place where there is no clear or preferred interpretation, it is best to wait until the structures reveal. This way, the accuracy and confidence would increase, leading towards higher probabilities. It's time to take all this to the charts. So next, we're going to go over some wave counting examples and we're also going to make some projections together. For our analysis, I'm going to use a symbol from each category, whether it's a forex pair, an index, a cryptocurrency or a commodity. Stay tuned. <laughs> 